because every team gets better through the draft. So good luck to every team, and let's get it started. It's now my honor to announce that the first ever virtual NFL draft is officially open. The Cincinnati Bengals are on the clock. The first pick in the 2020 draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Joe Burrow, quarterback, LSU. And there you see Joe with mom and dad, and you have to wonder what's going through his mind right now. Remember, when he entered the transfer portal, he said one more time he wanted to go to Nebraska, and Scott Frost, the coach, said, is he better than what we got? Uh, the answer is yes. Hey, Boog, a lot of people have asked me, why did he make that big transition from 18 to 19? It wasn't just the system. He got there late before that 18 season, didn't get a chance to get comfortable, and he had a little rust. He hadn't played a lot of football in three years. But what we saw this year was outstanding. How about the field vision, the awareness? You read the safety, vacate, go towards the middle of the field. You've got a vertical with Justin Jefferson from the slot. You take that all day long. He identifies, he attacks, and he drops this ball beautifully in the bucket. How about working in the middle of the field? Anticipation and ball placement doesn't get better than that. And then the toughness. We've all talked about that toughness with Joe Burrow. His eyes don't drop under pressure. Hang in there. You take the big hit and deliver a strike right on the money. Again, working in the middle of the field. How about the pocket awareness? Climb, feel it, keep your eyes downfield, find that backside seam, and again, beautiful ball placement. If you want to nitpick him, he played with an all-star cast of receivers, so every now and then he got away with the it. The 2020 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Chase Young, defensive end, Ohio State. Congratulations, Chase. created chaos in every single game that I watched. Even the Clemson game, the stat sheet might not show it, but I charted five pressures in that game despite getting double, triple teamed, three-step drops, getting away from him. He still impacted the game. This Washington Redskins team was last on third down defense. That'll change. With the third pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Jeff Okuda, defensive back, Ohio State. And there you see the reaction in Grand Prairie, Texas, where Jeff Okuda is from. The cornerback goes off the board. Here's what's really interesting. The top three picks in this draft, at one time or another, all played at Ohio State. What do you like most about what you see in Okuda's game? Well, Trey, I see the size and the length in somebody that is outstanding in press coverage. He wants to play physical at the line of scrimmage. We saw him do it against some of the best wide receivers in this year's draft class. He's got the fluidity to be able to open up. He can drive on the football. He can find and play the football. So I thought he was the most complete cornerback in this year's draft. In the 2020 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Andrew Thomas, tackle, Georgia. Not a surprise that it's an offensive lineman but perhaps somewhat of a surprise that it's this offensive lineman, Andrew Thomas. Yeah, Trey, starting 41 games in the SEC, he's played left tackle, he's played right tackle. You know, everybody had these tackles in a different order. For me, he was my fourth offensive tackle, but I do feel like the NFL draft, the Miami Dolphins select Tua Tungavaloa, quarterback, Alabama. Well, there it is, which means for the first time since Kellen Moore, who is now the Cowboy offensive coordinator, threw a pass, we're going to have a left-hander who's going to throw a pass. Well, he's going to have a red shirt year anyways. Even if we draft him, we're going to sit him for a year. I think when people saw that workout, they said to themselves, well, maybe not. He, he looks really good. He looks explosive. Those are things that he was built on in college, the quickness of his feet, the ability to redirect his feet, to buy time in the pocket. With the sixth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Justin Herbert, quarterback, Oregon. And there you see the reaction in Eugene. One thing you won't have to worry about when you're talking about Justin Herbert, his ability to understand the playbook. He carried a GPA of over four while earning a general science degree with a focus in biology. 
Well, there's a lot to like about Justin Herbert, Trey, is that we've seen the big arm. We've seen the ability to push the ball down the field. He's got athleticism where he can work outside the pocket. So I love the mix. You know, when you're a top 10 pick, you usually go to a team that's rebuilding. He gets to throw to Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. He's got Austin Eckler in the backfield. I mean, he's got a good group of guys to build around. My biggest question with him, Mel, is getting the ball out quick. A lot of things that he threw, he seemed very measured, and he wasn't able to get the ball out quick. Can he do that at the next level is my biggest question, Mel. With the seventh pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, Carolina Panthers select Derek Brown, defensive tackle, Auburn. Well, there you see Derek Brown. His teammates called him Baby Barack. One of his teammates, Marlon Davidson, referred to him as Channel 5 reporting live because he knew something about everything. And yeah, Mel, to me, when I watched him, the thing that jumped out to me, I thought he played with tremendous effort in, in every game that I watched. I saw him pursuing plays all the way across the field. He can really reset the line of scrimmage with his power. And I was fascinated to see what Matt Rule would do with this decision, his first pick. Would he go Isaiah Simmons to get some speed and athleticism at the second level? He decided to go with a defensive lineman who can generate some of that interior pocket push inside the division where you're going to have going up against Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and Matt Ryan. So fascinating choice there. I love Derek Brown, Boog. With the eighth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Isaiah Simmons, linebacker Clemson. Well, it is hard to fault anybody picking Isaiah Simmons. It's very true, Trey. I got a chance to see Derwin James doing the Charger games for the last couple years, and you'll see him used in different ways on a week-by-week -week basis. And I think we're going to see Isaiah Simmons in that exact same way because he can do so many different things. One week he might be lined up and covering George Kittle. The next week you might use him as a spy on Russell Wilson. You can blitz him from off the edge. You can even play him in the deep middle third. Uh, this guy can do so many different things for a creative coordinator. He's an outstanding prospect, Book. With the 10th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Jedrick Wills, tackle Alabama. I hope you like it, Fletcher. Well, not a surprise that they go offensive line. Jedrick Wells is off the board. Tua Tonga Vailoa called him the alpha male in the offensive line group for Alabama. Well, I think he's going to be the one making the move over to the left side with the Cleveland Browns. You'll keep Jack Conklin at right tackle because Jedrick Wills has the athleticism to be able to match up with the speed elite rushers he's going to see on that left side without any help from a tight end. He's outstanding knee bender. He can really roll his hips on contact. And pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Makai Becton, tackle Louisville. So the run on receivers is going to have to wait, but Makai Becton, ladies and gentlemen, human beings that large should not run as fast as Makai Becton did. At the combine, 364 pounds, ran the 40 in 5.1. Well, Boog, I tell you what, I think they got the best tackle in the draft in Makai Becton, and somebody that when you watch how hard he's been working through this process, I know there was some concern about his weight. Uh, there's Joe Douglas there celebrating with the, with the New York Jets with his family. I know there was some concern about his weight. I actually texted with his trainer yesterday and said, I need a proof of weight video. So he got him on the scale and showed me, he weighed 363 as of yesterday morning. So he's been able to control his weight. He's been working really hard, even some of it in unconventional fashion, as you see right here. Go get you a big truck and start driving it. And that's what he does against everybody you watched him on tape for Louisville this fall. This is a giant of a man. This is Mount Becton who's been brought in to protect Sam Darnold. And I can promise you Le'Veon Bell is going to be a big fan as well. With the 12th pick of the 2020 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Henry Ruggs, wide receiver, Alabama. Congratulations, Raiders. Congratulations, Henry. Well, there you see Henry Ruggs. Daniel, you neared the position, but not the player. Henry Ruggs is a fascinating football player. And we knew, Trey, that this was a possibility because of that 4-2-7 speed. And let's remember now, the Raiders, what do they have to do? They have to face that, that 
thing they have in Kansas City with Tyreek Hill. So they wanted to match speed for speed. They wanted to match explosion for explosion. When they score, they, when t- Kansas City score, now the Raiders will be able to come right back and score fast. This kid can run fast, but he also goes up high and grab that ball, just like you saw him dunk in the basketball. Henry Ruggs on this field, you're going to scare safeties out of there. You're going to have a lot more room for Josh Jacobs to run. I'd also add Darren Waller at tight end. He ran in the mid-4-4s. Now you've got Henry Ruggs who ran in the mid-4-2s. This Raider team got fast real quick. Can we all just take a moment to acknowledge what we're seeing here? Michael Irvin, you of all people have to appreciate this. Henry Ruggs is swagging out in a robe. He's just chilling in a robe. Michael, that's what... The San Francisco 49ers have traded the 13th pick to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the 13th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Tristan Wirfs, tackle Iowa. Well, now we're seeing this run on offensive linemen, and as you see Tristan Wirfs there getting the phone call right there and a little bit of thumbs up. Another freakish athlete. He's 6'3", 322 pounds with the 14th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The San Francisco 49ers select Javon Kinlaw, defensive tackle, South Carolina. Well, perhaps another surprise, but Javon Kinlaw is one hell of a football player. His story is also amazing. Yeah, he reminded me of Marcus Stroud when I watched him, Mel. And this is somebody, when you put on the Georgia game and the Alabama game, the best opponents they played, he was dominant against those quality offensive lines. So that's what jumped out to me. And, Lewis, I just add one thing here with this selection. This is this is outstanding by John Lynch. You trade to Forrest Buckner, you get the 13th pick. You trade back to 14, get an extra pick, and you replace DeForest Buckner at the same position with a younger, cheaper player. Uh, John Lynch putting that Stanford education to good use. With the 15th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Jerry Judy, wide receiver, Alabama. Congratulations, Jerry. Come on, Broncos. And there you see Jerry Judy and family waiting to hear the official news, but it is done. Jerry Judy is a Denver Broncos. I I, I love this pick, and I'm telling you, when you hear people talk about how great he is at running routes. That's because he transitions so well in and out of cuts. This guy is incredible at the line of scrimmage. That's the number one thing that he's going to have to work on is getting off that ball and being able to get deep. He ran a 4-4 at the combine. And Trey, he gets his work done in the slot. I already told you, 60% of the time he was lined up in the slot and he made seven touchdowns out of ten. Now, when you line up Corden Sutton on the outside and you put Jared Judy in the slot, that is a disaster for any defense when you're trying to stop Drew Locke and the Denver Broncos. Great pick for the Denver Broncos right there, Trey. Yeah, Mer- Irv, I think it's fascinating when you look inside this division. Everybody's chasing the Kansas City Chiefs. So are they going to load up on defense to try and slow down that Chiefs offense? It's like, the, forget that. We're not going to be able to slow them down. We better get some firepower. So the Chargers go out and get their quarterback of the future in Justin Herbert. We saw the Raiders go get Henry Ruggs. And then now you have the Denver Broncos go get his teammate in Jerry Judy. The AFC West is loading up on offense. With the 16th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select A.J. Terrell, defensive back, Clemson. Well, there you see A.J. Terrell and family, and it gets emotional pretty quickly, ladies and gentlemen. And A.J. Terrell announced his presence with authority in the 2018 college football championship game. With the 17th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select C.D. Lamb, Wide receiver, Oklahoma. Well, Dak Prescott just got another weapon to throw to, and C.D. Lamb is a weapon in every shape of the word. By the way, yes, he is. Uh, and this is a, a perfect, perfect pick 
for the Dallas Cowboys. I know they wanted to sure up the defense, but they know that I knew as talking to them that Lamb was the first receiver they had on their board. And they talked about if he falls, they would have to snatch him up. Let me tell you what's great about this, because you know they got Amari Cooper and, 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 and they got the young guy outside, Williams outside. But what, they, what this kid does, he can play in that slot position that was vacated by Randall Cobb. He played 70% outside last season, 30% in the slot. But he had productions from both spots, seven touchdowns outside, seven TDs from that slot mail. So he can play in the slot, and when he has to, he can go outside and make plays also. With the 18th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Austin Jackson, tackle, USC. You know what just happened? Roger Goodell tipped the pick. He said we got good news for Tua. You knew it had to be an offensive lineman. Well, I'll tell you what, they're getting a true left tackle with outstanding foot quickness and athleticism. And Trey, you did a great job telling the story about donating the bone marrow for his sister. But he did not have much of an offseason. I thought he struggled a little bit early on in the year, and then he got more comfortable as the year progressed. He's only 20 years old. I don't know that he's able to step on the field right now and be an impact tackle, but Lewis, the upside with this kid is off the charts because of his ability to bend his knees and move. He's an outstanding athlete. Now, with the 19th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Damon Arnett, defensive back, Ohio State. All right, first of all, congratulations to Las Vegas getting the mulligan. We'll be there in a couple years as we will do the draft from there. But this is a fascinating decision here on a lot of levels by Damon Arnett. This was a kid that had basically decided his college career was over. And for me, Mel, he was my eighth corner. So I think people had that third corner in all different orders. You know, one thing I'll say about Arnett, why I was surprised that he went this high He's very competitive, and that fits with what they've tried to do in building this team over the last couple of years. A very physical, very competitive kid who can really find and play the football, which you've got to have at that position, Lewis. Uh, look, his kid is, is tough, he's physical, and he can find the ball. I just thought it was a little bit earlier than I expected. 20th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Clavon Chason, linebacker, LSU. Well, there you see Caleb on Chase on and company getting set to know that they are moving down to Jacksonville. Yeah, very athletic up front now for the Jacksonville Jaguars, Lewis. And I'd also add this kid getting number 18 is a big deal at LSU, as you guys know, because of his leadership and because of his character. And when I talked to the coaches down there, they said when he hurt his Pick knee. In the 2020 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Jalen Rager, wide receiver, TCU. Well, this is a player and a name, guys, who has been rising up a lot of draft board. Yeah, and, and I was impressed with him also. He's another one of those guys. Small guy, but can go when he gets that. And we don't know what's happening with this. With the 22nd pick in the 2020 draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Justin Jefferson, wide receiver, LSU. Justin, we apologize. ESPN gave you no stars coming out of high school. Yes, and hey, listen, I, I love this pick as a football player. Now, I'm, I'm really anxious to see how Minnesota will work this out because, you know, Adam Thielen works the slot a lot in Minnesota. Justin Jefferson was 99% out of the slot at LSU. So seeing how they mess this together is going to be very interesting. But this kid can flat out play football. He made great plays deep made plays over top of people, and when he does get the ball in his hands, he can take short, short passes and make long, long plays out of them. Justin Jefferson going to Minnesota. i tell you, DJ, Mel, that's going to be a great pick. Yeah, look, when you look at this player on tape, he reminds me so much of Keenan Allen and what he did in the slot, Mike. He's 
ability to separate, he catches everything, he's always where he's supposed to be. He's a pro, and when I talked to the folks down at LSU, they said, look, his brother who played at LSU was roommates with Patrick Peterson. This kid was running routes against Patrick Peterson when he was a teenager. He's not going to be intimidated when he steps into an NFL locker room. And Mel, I had a buddy in the league that said this was Gary Kubiak's favorite receiver in the draft. He's going to catch a million balls in Minnesota. The New England Patriots have traded the 23rd pick to the Los Angeles Chargers. With the 23rd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Kenneth Murray, linebacker, Oklahoma. With the 24th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select Cesar Ruiz, center, Michigan. So there you see the very emotional reaction from Cesar Ruiz. He said a few years ago he was born to play center. Yeah, Mel, I thought he was a top interior offensive lineman in this draft. Regardless, you're talking about center or guard. He's just very firm. And you mentioned Drew Brees. Drew Brees has always required that up front. I just find it fascinating that last year they went and got a center in Eric McCoy, who played very well last year. And now you bring another player with the versatility to play a couple different spots there. Uh, Lewis, the Saints will just continue to reinvest in the middle of that offensive line. It's certain. The Minnesota Vikings have traded the 25th pick to the San Francisco 49ers. With the 25th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Brandon Ayuk, wide receiver, Arizona State. All right, Daniel Jeremiah, nicely done. Brandon Ayuk is indeed the selection. So that's the second straight year. Forks up, Herm Edwards, that an Arizona State Sun Devil wide receiver has gone in the first round. Nikhil Harry went there a year ago. I tell you, it's a blessing from God to have that reach. I call that an area code wide receiver. You put the phone anywhere, you put the ball anywhere in the area code and he will make that play. And you match him up. You give Kyle Shanahan, that genius of an offensive mind, a guy like Brandon Ayuk, who can make plays with the ball as you're watching right here on the screen. I mean, it's going to be a great combination to put with that young group they have in San Francisco. The Miami Dolphins have traded the 26th pick to the Green Bay Packers. With the 26th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Jordan Love, quarterback, Utah State. Okay, this is fascinating because I believe Aaron Rodgers is the same age as Brett Favre was in 2005 when they selected Aaron Rodgers. Well, hey, yeah, I am surprised a little bit, Trey, is that obviously you have Aaron Rodgers going to play a few more years, but wants to win now and wants to have some weapons around him to give him the firepower to be successful. But as you mentioned before, this worked out pretty well for him when they went and got Aaron Rodgers, when Brett Favre had a couple years left. So now they're just building for the future. A lot of people compare this guy to a Patrick Mahomes. He's got that upside, that athleticism, the ability to make some of those special throws that Green Bay has seen for a number of years with Aaron Rodgers. So it's about preparing for the future, getting that next quarterback. But I am a bit surprised because I know Aaron Rodgers is thinking, get me some more weapons. I want to win more before I retire. With the 27th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Jordan Brooks, linebacker, Texas Tech. Well, this is interesting because I had one coach tell me this week, I wish people would stop putting Jordan Brooks in their mock draft. And that 4-5-4 speed Mel shows up on tape. And just think about this pick for the division. When you have San Francisco, the Rams, and the Arizona Cardinals, they're going to force your linebackers to play out in space. Well, you don't get any more space than playing in Lubbock and playing in the Big 12. This guy's had his whole existence in space, so it makes sense for the fit inside the division where they got to play those teams twice. With the 28th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Patrick Queen, linebacker. Well, I guess it's not a surprise that we're seeing a draft dominated by Alabama and LSU players. And Boog, I'll tell you what, when I watched this kid, having spent four years in that Ravens organization, I wrote down, this guy plays like a Raven. He was my 15th overall player 
So you're getting tremendous value. His ability to make plays sideline to sideline and just the energy that he plays with fits the Baltimore Ravens organization. And Boog, your alma mater is celebrating. I don't know if Ozzie Newsom went to the bathroom or not, but Eric DaCosta took an LSU player the first time the Ravens have ever drafted an LSU player. And with Ozzie Newsom being an Alabama guy, I think he might have stepped out of the room for a minute. With the 29th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Isaiah Wilson, tackle, Georgia. They're going beef. So that's the second offensive lineman from Georgia off the board. You saw Andrew Thomas uh, go much earlier. Now they go guard. Yeah, he's going to be the first one off the bus, though, Mel. I can promise you that. I mean, he looks like he's a, he's a wrestler. I mean, he is enormous. And we saw him move really well at the combine. I'm with you in terms of what you see in the run game. He can displace people at the line of scrimmage. Georgia loved to run the football, but in pass protection, I thought he really struggled to, set, to, to sink his weight and play low, got a little bit too high. So there's some work to go with him, needs some development, uh, but you are going to be able to pound the ball with Derrick Henry running behind him. Yeah, that shows up, Mel, the toughness, the physicality, the wanting to get involved in the run game. He's going to play inside, in my opinion, with the Miami Dolphins. They'll put him at the nickel. You have Xavier Howard on one side. You'll have Byron Jones on the other. He can work in the slot. He does a nice job of finding the football, but you quickly realize why he's a former wide receiver. He's got 18 pass breakups over his career and only one interception. That's the problem. He just can't catch. But he's always in position. He can find and knock the ball away. With the 31st pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Jeff Gladney, defensive back, TCU. To me, I saw a little bit of Denzel Ward with just how quick and feisty and competitive he was. When you watch him in off coverage, he's very fluid, he's quick, he can drive on the football. He's an outstanding blitzer, and I think that toughness is what's going to endear him to his new team because that's the way they play on that side of the ball. I think this is a nice fit there with the Minnesota Vikings. With the 32nd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs select Clyde Edwards Elaire, running back LSU. Sometimes you just have a hunch. No doubt, Lewis. And to me, when I watched him, I compared him to Priest Holmes. I haven't seen so much of him in the AFC when I was scouting. And how about that? Chiefs fans, they know what they're getting when what they had with Priest Holmes. I think this is another version of what Priest was able to do. 